The homemade vanilla. It's made with rum because that's how you make. If you eat too much of the ice cream, are you gonna get drunk? It's strong. Whoa, Danielle. How much did you put in there? A cup? Danielle? Stop. Did you use Stop. this? Uh-oh. I'm not sure what's happening. They're looking for something. They're looking around for something. Oh. They know what I did. <laughs> Why are you vlogging me, <laughs> mommy? What are you doing? I have a huge, huge, huge surprise for you. What? It's a huge surprise. It's the biggest surprise you've ever had. Well, okay. you ready for it? Yeah. It's been over two weeks since you had your glue put in. Yeah. Do you know what that means? What? You can now swim. <gasps> Yeah, that's what it means. You don't have to put a cap on. You can totally swim without floaties and go underwater and do all the things that you <laughs> He doesn't need anything on. Oh yeah, no. He's good, he can totally swim. <laughs> so you can swim, I got the pool ready and everything. How's that sound, Gigi? Good. So just like every other thing that you, we do around here though, you have to make sure that your bed is made. Okay? Mm -hmm and that your room is straightened up to where you don't have any stuff on the floor and it's cleaned up. Mm -hmm. And that your nose is not having problems anymore. <laughs> so isn't that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> that? I'm just gonna get sad because I can swim now. You're gonna get sad? Yeah. What do you mean? Are you just excited? Yeah, I mean you know, excited. It's, it's not a sad emotion. The emotion that you're having right now is excited emotion. Sometimes when you get so excited, listen, Sometimes when you get so excited, sometimes you feel like crying. Did you know that? Sometimes. Did you know that? Did you know when you are excited, your eyes get watered? Yeah, did you know that sometimes you feel it inside? It almost feels the same as when you're gonna cry when you're sad. Those, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Yeah. So maybe that's what you're feeling right now. You're so excited that you almost wanna cry. Have you heard that? Yeah. Have you heard people say that before? He's out of here. What are you doing? Playing. I thought you wanted to go swimming. But not right now. Okay, not right the second. Okay, you can play with your sand first, okay? Mine it has a sand. Yeah, yours has a sand. But I love it. Let me see. Isn't this so hold on, hold on, let me see. Let me see it. It's so squishy and I know, stuff. isn't this so satisfying? Look at this. I love kinetic sand. Whoever invented kinetic sand, if you're watching, <laughs> thank you. Whoever made toys. Thank you, <laughs> because I love toy. First time in the water without anything on your head. <laughs> you can't swim like that. <laughs> Is it hard? Go underwater. Go underwater. You gotta do it, go underwater. Woo! Hey, set, go, go, go. lots of extra <laughs> ice cream, that's what I'm making, and it is taking forever. Call mommy. Hello? Hi, so um, Hi. you know how the homemade vanilla you made, um, it's made with rum because that's how you make vanilla? Yeah. If you eat too much of the ice cream, are you gonna get drunk? <laughs> how much vanilla did you put in there? So how many teaspoons of vanilla? Probably at least six. Well, I don't think you'll get drunk from it. You don't think so? What is it? You won't get mad at me if I get drunk tonight, right? <laughs> well, are you planning on eating the whole thing of ice cream? Yes! You're not gonna share with any of us? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> One teaspoon of vanilla is not gonna... <laughs> make you drunk so if we but I probably have like a whole shot in there <laughs> <laughs> but if we split it into six servings it'll be just fine so the ice cream's pretty much done I'm just gonna put it in the freezer for a while so we can all eat it together but hopefully no one gets drunk whoa it says it's 127 degrees 126.7 degrees dude that's so hot huh no, inside 
Oh, mm -hmm. inside of this side? Yeah. It says it's 103 degrees inside of there. 104.1. I think it's, I think, because before we went outside, it was like 70 something degrees each time. And now it's like 20 degrees each time. I don't think it's actually just 20 degrees in here because that'll be freezing. I'm pretty sure it's just like, it's been used to be to the heat or something. But here's the best part about it. Dogs, come in. Just if you can't see the red dot, the dogs are chasing the red dot. <laughs> Canyon, what is that? What is that? It's, it's, what, um, where did, what did you do? I made some food. How did you make it? Why is it warm? Oh my gosh, I just poured it in that drawer. Canyon, I thought that was closed. What is it? What is in there? Why? What, it's gross. What is it? It's, what's on the bottom? Is that milk? No. What is it? It's melted cheese. Melted cheese with donut cereal and a fruit roll up. And water. And really? Yeah. That's mm. disgusting. Are you going to eat that? La, 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 la. Are you going to eat that? Um, after it freezes. No, it's not going to freeze. It's in the fridge. And you're not putting it in the freezer. Kids, groceries. We have lots of groceries. Come get groceries. The rum ice cream. It smells like rum. <laughs> Whoa, Danielle. Johnny! <laughs> it's perfect though. It smells like ice cream? What, who did the tuna fish problem here? Okay. Who did that? Not me, I think it's tuna fish. That is what I filled up. Okay, let's, let's not look at, look at what we have here. Daddy, look what I filled up. Lizzie, okay, we have a nasty, super nasty mess. But, oh, I like it. Listen, you need a little bit of Here's your spoon. Oh, oh, you here's your spoon. spoon. Hold on, we gotta make sure it's not too alcoholic for you. Too alcoholic? <laughs> Alcohol. Alcoholish. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Is it a lot? It smells. Cool. It's strong. Whoa, Danielle. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. How much did you put in there? A cup? No. Mm. Six teaspoons. <laughs> <sighs> it tastes amazing. It does taste amazing. Mm -hmm. No, we're not having any more. <laughs> I put a spoonful every day. <laughs> How about you spoonful cook it and then freeze it again? Yeah, I don't think it will actually. You could eat that whole thing of ice cream. I don't think it'd do anything to you. No, I don't think so. Actually, six teaspoons probably would. That's like three shots. No. That's why you don't eat the whole bag six, in one sitting. It's only like. It is like probably three shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't get any more. Hey, hey Canyon, Canyon, hold on. Canyon. I think he's already. Just hey, he's a, he's a belligerent drunk. <laughs> he's a belligerent drunk. Hey, hold on. Ask, please, dude. Stop. You gotta ask. Hey, Canyon, Canyon, Canyon. Canyon. No, Canyon. Don't, hey. please, don't get me. Stop. I have a spoon. To stop. stop. He's gonna kill me. Danielle. Stop. Did you use this? Stop. Yes, I poured that whole thing. This? In. You poured this? <laughs> no. The little thing. <laughs> okay, so this is, how long have we had this, Sarah? Actually, it's probably only like five. Um, I was pregnant with Canyon when we made it. Okay, so it's been over five years. Yeah. So we made this over five years ago. What this is, is it's Captain Morgan. It's basically, it's, it's, it's rum. And you put sticks of cinnamon, sorry, not cinnamon, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla beans. beans inside inside and you let it set for a certain amount of time and then you pour this into the little vanilla bottle and you have vanilla, homemade vanilla. It's this, this is the same exact thing as the store-bought vanilla. But you're not supposed to use that much vanilla. Did you also is know that you, you couldn't go into the store and buy vanilla? Mm-hmm. Or cough syrup, did you know that? No. You couldn't. If you're 21 to buy cough syrup? Oh or yeah, vanilla. I get that. So you should cook that ice cream and refreeze it. Drink no. responsibly. No drinking. No drinking. <laughs> no drinking ice cream. What you should do is make another batch without the vanilla and put it in there. We could find a neighbor to get this Mix them together. No. Mix them together. <laughs> no, I think that's what you should do. Make another batch so there's enough for all of us. Put mm -hmm. it back in the freezer Canyon, and then no. look at him. Stop! <laughs> Canyon. Canyon. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, oh, you're done. All right. You're done. You're done. 
You're done. Thank you. You don't ever hit people. Ever, ever, ever. No, 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 no. No, do not get angry. Hey, there's consequences to your actions. Oh, okay. Okay. Corner time for him. You're going in the corner. If you're going to hit people, you don't. You're going in the corner. That's not okay, Canyon. Not okay to hit people. Never, ever, ever, ever hit people. Ever. Canyon said he's ready to talk. Yep. What are we talking about? Me hitting Danyan with the spoon. So Canyon just spent about 20 minutes in the corner, a lot of it trying to get out of the corner, but he just spent some time in the corner. Why did you, why did you, uh, why were you in the corner? Because I hit Danyan with the a spoon. Why did you hit her with the spoon? Because I didn't get any. Is that, is that a good reaction? Uh, no. When, when do we hit people? When, I don't know. Uh, the answer is never. Uh, actually, if they, if they're bad guys, you hit them. There's, yeah, there's not going to be very many opportunities in your whole entire life where you need to hit somebody because they're bad guys. Yeah. So what's the answer? Because bad guys who, aren't in this world. Who, when do we hit people? Never. Never hit people. And then if we have a spoon in our hand or anything else, do we hit people with it? No. Absolutely not. What if we're angry? Do we still hit people? No. No. You need to cool your jets, dude. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? Yeah. What does it mean? Stop. That's right. You don't hit people ever. And you definitely don't ever hit a girl. Ever, ever, ever. Do you understand? Yeah. Ever. I can see another bar. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I don't think you understand. Maybe you need to go back in? No. No. What's the plan? Um, no hurting. Okay, well, let's go give it another shot. Sure. Let's give it another try. And I'm, I need to go do my yoga because I was Okay, yawning. you can go do your yoga now. Um, listen, 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 listen. If, if, if you end up doing that again, we're gonna have to have more severe consequences. Okay. I'm not so sure he cares too much. He just spent 20 minutes in the corner and I think he just wanted to talk with me because he wanted to get out. Next time it's gonna be more severe consequences. I don't know what that means. We don't believe in, as we just talked about, we don't believe in spanking, it doesn't work. It's just something that creates more problems. Maybe just more time in the corner next time. Not cool. That wasn't cool. He, he lost his cool and ended up hitting. And it happens. Kids do it all the time. I see kids doing it all the time. And I see a lot of adults doing it right now. I see a lot of people that are angry right now getting in situations where they're using physical violence as an answer to their problems and the world's problems. And, and all I have to say is, come on, people. Come on. Is it not okay that we have a difference of opinions? Um, and I get there's other people angry for other reasons, and I I have my own opinions on it, but the problem with me expressing my opinions about it, a lot of people want to know my opinion and our opinion, and um, it doesn't matter what our opinion is, honestly, like, because whether we agree with people or disagree with people, it's still our opinion, and I think there's so many things that we can agree with or disagree with right now, it just gets so confusing, and. I think the biggest answer is, you know, let's make decisions based upon what we what we want best in the world, not what we hate about the world. And I think if we make those decisions based upon what we want out of this world and what we want it to become, then I think we'll go in the right direction, not based upon what we hate about the world because it just creates more hate. Long story short, don't hit people, people. Unless, of course, you're a boxer or a UFC fighter, then you better hit people because, uh, at least hit the ones that you're, you're, uh, your opponent because that's kind of how you uh, make your money and that's how you make your living and that's how you win. Uh oh. That's not good. There's a fire truck just out back of our house here. There's been a lot of fires. There's been a lot of fireworks going off. I just wonder if. But it stopped a couple houses down. Yeah, I wonder if somebody got hurt. Sure, it's happening. They're looking for something. They're looking around for something. Oh, they know what I did. They're looking for something. It's 
That's what it looks like to me, Danielle. What about you? It looks like to me they're looking for a fire of some sort. Yeah. On the proper behind us. Would they be looking for a fire with flashlights? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're looking for a firework that landed and I don't know. Hurt? I don't know. They're it's an kind of frantically too. looking. A here. Yeah, I know. And they, they looked over at us like they weren't really going to ask us any questions or anything. So I don't know what's going on. So maybe someone saw something and then, no. I don't know. Because if someone saw something, they would be asking questions too. Yeah, I have no clue. Two professions that it wouldn't be real fun for the 4th of July is uh, cops and emergency professionals, firemen, all those. They have to work overtime, double overtime. They gotta work extra hard to make sure that people are safe. And uh, those who are not safe are taken care of. And, and uh, so yeah, my hat's off to them. They could be with their families tonight, tomorrow, but they're not, they're out working to keep us all safe, so we appreciate them. I'm not sure they found anything. They're checking all of the empty lots up here. When I say empty, I mean the ones that don't have houses on them. Um, they're checking all the, the uh, empty lots, and, and uh, apparently somebody called or said something that they saw a fire somewhere. Maybe it was the fire on our TV. Maybe someone saw a fire on our TV. Maybe. Through that window. But there aren't any, oh, wait, no, there are. What? Yeah, there was a dragon. Dragon fire. Hey, your room's the other way. What? Your room's the other way. Are you still messing with them? Big time. <laughs> if any of the blue people are holding the disc, punch them and take the disc away, okay? God, him good. <laughs> really good. I feel like I'm coaching. <laughs> because the round just ended. Not the whole round, like. Oh, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Not the whole round, like. Dad! Yeah! That was right over his head, boy. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> yeah, you can't let me hit the lamp. <laughs> Get out of here. We've been sitting here laugh crying for the last, I don't know how long, since Danielle set me up to punch the, the chandelier. I didn't set you up. <laughs> look, at you in... look, at, look at that still. <laughs> Is that where you hit it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's show like me again. red. <laughs> It looked like you hit it so hard. I had the camera on and I was like, I'm, I'm filming too much. Like, this is gonna be too much fluff. This is gonna be too much fluff. But I was like, no. But she saw me getting closer and closer. To no, the I didn't. No, <laughs> I didn't even think about that at all. In the game, I was like, I hit it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it connected. And I was like, that was not. <laughs> no, I was like, I can't turn off the camera yet because you keep saying stuff as soon as I turn off the camera. Like, oh, I just grabbed a dude's bum. Like stuff like Everybody <laughs> heard me in the room. These are people all over the world that we were playing this game with. He didn't, didn't know. know he didn't know how the um, mute like, thing worked, and he didn't know that it was all real people. I just went up to a robot and I, <laughs> I went to move it, and it just grabbed onto its bum cheek, its left one, and I moved it around a little bit. And the guy was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "Oh, I just grabbed that dude's bum cheek." And somebody in the room was like, "What did he just say?" <laughs> I was like, "Danielle." Anyway. He's like. What did that person just? Where is that person? And I was like, Oh no, it's a real, it's a real ear, person. Like a it's a real. Oh yeah, there was like a. And then they, anyway, he kept saying stuff, and the people would laugh about it. And I was like, It's a real world thing. Do you want to mute yourself? And he's like, Mute my. Why? Why would I need to mute myself? So. Sometimes good things are captured on video. Oh yeah, sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's twelve thirty. Sorry. One thirty. One thirty. Exactly now. Never forget that we love you, and. You, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs>